Hello and welcome, RC Jim on the desktop once again. I have an update, an awesome update for the whole DJI OSD telemetry for your videos. And it involves a lot of automation, which is all done by my little Visual Basic script. You will see it's way easier now than in my last video. Quick steps, what do you need? You download my script. That does the SRT recoding, so it looks nicer, and it also creates a black video with the OSD text in MP4 format. For this, it also needs the FFmpeg file. You find it in the download link of this description. You download the script and the FFmpeg to the same directory as your DJI FPV videos. You extract this zip file. That's not too hard. And you can get rid of the zip. Eh. We need it here. So basically you need the ffmpeg.exe in the same directory as the script. Once you have this, you simply double click my script. It was quick in creating the SRT files and these black windows here are the FFmpeg recoding just a black window, a black video, with the overlaid text. It doesn't take a long time. I have three short clips here, 200 to 300 megabyte of video and it's a matter of a minute or so. And they all rendering in parallel, so according to the speed of your PC, this will be faster or slower. And you don't have to touch anything, that's the beauty of this thing here. You can take a very quick look for the curious. But it's the same script as I used the last time, with these bits here creating the nicer looking telemetry text which you still can alter to your likings. Ask me just if you need anything, that's it's really not too difficult. And then here are a few lines of code which start a command and give the FFmpeg tool some command line inputs, like what is the input video file, draw box, here I draw a black box, you can change this color if you want to, black box and then implement the subtitles. That's really everything. It's so easy. And big shout out to RCR DPS. I've linked his channel in the info box of course. He kind of supplied me his script where he does this with another script that I could include it here in mine. So I'm really happy with how this works now. What what exactly does it do? That's the text we have the SRT file and now without starting the X media recode from the last time we just got this as an output and you see it's black window black video and just the text here and if we now in the following step apply a color key correction to remove the black all we are, have left is the text here and that's very, very nice, very beautiful. So head over to step two. Just open up the video editor you use. In my case, it will be Premiere, but color keying is possible in, in almost any video editor, I'd say. Okay, step two, I already opened Adobe Premiere in the background. I take the original file, this 02 here, and throw it onto the timeline. I could use again my super view filter here that you've seen in the last video check out my last video if you are curious for this how it works but yeah just be noted it works and what we now want is an additional layer with the osd text and that's the according dji 02 osd it's very small 288 kilobytes. You can throw it 
over here. It should be the same length as the original video. If not, you've done something wrong. Now what we have is a black box with the telemetry text inside. So all we need now is the effect called color key. Let's throw it on to here. And for the color key, it's defaulting to this blue. We'll take this pipette and click into the black and then the black disappears. How nice is this? Now I can of course also move the position of my OSD down to the bottom. By looking close at the text, I notice this black weirdness. So you of course have to increase the color tolerance a bit. You see when you move it like 10 or so, all the black things disappear. Okay, and that's basically all. So you learned how you can adjust this thing here in the script level, uh, which values to be shown. And now you also have a layer that you can move around wherever you want it. Uh, you can of course increase or decrease the size, which is a bit of a pain here in Premiere, but maybe it's easier if you know how to do it properly. And it's working regardless if you use the super view trick or not, of course. And the real beauty of this thing is neither for the super view nor for the OSD trick, I need to recode it new. Because if you have two or three recode steps until you finally recode it for your video project, then you will always decrease the video. So with this now, we only encode it once and have everything in it. If you want text to have a bit of black border to be better visible, I use edge sin minus three as a optimal setting. A little trick, if you cut it and your computer is too slow to display this, you can of course uh, disable things like super view or also the telemetry layer and concentrate on cutting it and then on recoding uh, turn on the effects but yeah, that's basic video editing i hope you liked this little update i needed to do this in a proper video and not just in an update text in a comment if you liked this please share my videos comment subscribe what not and if you like this beyond belief, <laughs> maybe even consider visiting my Patreon page. Very much appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you and hear next time. Bye for now. Oh yeah, and next time uh, it will not be a boring tutorial, but a flat video again, I promise. Bye-bye. <laughs>